This video is setting up Google Tag Manager and OneThrust. I've created a simple web page for us, and you can see that I have two cookies being loaded by Google Tag Manager. You can see the two tags here. The firing trigger is on all pages. Just to see what that looks like, let's clear the site data. Empty cache and hard reload. And we see the two cookies dropping on the page. First thing we want to do in Google Tag Manager is go to Tags, select New, Tag Configuration, Custom HTML, go into the OneTrust application. Go to production scripts, copy the script, paste that into the HTML, select support document.write. We need to select a trigger and it's going to be consent initialization, all pages. Let's name it. And save. Next, we need to create a user defined variable. Select new. Variable configuration is going to be first party cookie. Cookie name is going to be opt in on consent. Select URI decode cookie. And select save. Next we want to create our triggers. Select new trigger configuration page view. Select some page views. Ensure that opt in on consent is selected here. Contains and what we want to do is use the cookie category ID in OneTrust. So I'm going to pick on targeting cookies for this example. Where to find that in the application is in categorizations, categories. And if you notice on the left hand side, we have our cookie categories and the associated ID with them. C0004 is targeting cookies. So I'm going to use that for this example. Let's give it a convenient name. And select save. Let's go back to our tags. And let's go ahead and update the triggers for these two guys here. Hit the plus icon. Select the trigger we just created. Remove the previous and select save. All right, now let's go ahead and submit and publish. We can skip for now. Perfect. Let's go back to our simple web page. Empty cache and hard reload. Perfect. We see that the cookie banner script is loaded. We're using an opt-in consent model at the moment. So the cookies are not going to drop by default. If you notice here, right, we don't see those two cookies anymore, which is perfect. Let's go to cookie settings. Let's opt out. Refresh the page. 
And again, we do not see those cookies coming from Google Tag Manager. Let's clear the site data, ensure cookies are removed, empty cache and hard reload. This time, let's go ahead and opt in to the targeting cookies, confirm our choices, and let's reload the page. Since we've opted in, right, we can see that those two cookies are coming from Google Tag Manager. So what this is saying is that it is functioning correctly. Thank you.